Hey guys, welcome to Super Goose LLC. Today I'm going to go over a topic that I've been thinking about for a while and that I often get asked about. When people find out that I have a gas bike and electric bikes, they want to know which one do I prefer. So in this video, I'm going to cover that, which one I prefer. It's something that I've thought about quite a lot. And uh, I can tell you, I like all three bikes and I use them for different purposes. And uh, so I'm gonna just kind of start off with um, kind of a quick history of my self with motorcycles and these three bikes in particular. I bought my first gas bike uh, about 25 years ago. And um, I held on to that when it was a DR350. And then I got a KTM 525. Um, about 10 years ago, I stopped riding either one of those bikes due to uh, life circumstances. And then uh, the electrics came out and I started getting, getting interested in bikes again. So I saved my money and I got the LBX. Um, I eventually sold the two gas bikes and then I bought the um, Ultra B. And then a bit later, I bought the um, DRZ 400 SM. So I've owned the LBX for about mm, a year and a half, maybe. I've owned the uh, Ultra B for about a year. And I've owned the DRZ for about six months or so, seven months, something like that. Um, all really nice bikes for different purposes. And I'm going to do the impossible today and compare apples and oranges and pears, I guess. And there's three of them. So let's start off with just the, you know, the raw uh, data on these three. So the raw data being uh, like horsepower. So in the horsepower category, obviously the DRZ is going to win out. It's got uh, roughly 35 horsepower. The Ultra B is in second in that category. It's measured in watts, but if you translate it to horsepower, it's got 16.8 uh, max horsepower. The Light B is on the low end of things. It comes in at four horsepower. But, um, you know, the Light B is, so that brings up another category, the weight. So the Light B is by far the lightest. It comes in at about 110 pounds. The uh, Ultra B is around 180, 190. And the DRZ obviously is the heaviest. Uh, I don't know the weight of it offhand, but it, it is heavier for sure. Um, I'm guessing in the 275 range, something like that. So, um, yeah, so even though the Light B has a lot less horsepower, it's also a lot lighter. So it doesn't need nearly as much horsepower to get going. Okay, uh, top speed. Um, DR, DRZ wins this one easily. I can get up to 100 plus miles an hour on it and you can do other things to it to make it even faster. I wouldn't really want to go uh, much faster than about 80 or 90 on it though. Uh, it's just at that speed, you're on the interstate and it starts feeling unsafe. It's, uh, it, it's actually too light at that point. If you're going that fast, it needs more weight. You get pushed around by the wind. The Ultra B, uh, comes, clocks in at, uh, 59 miles an hour top speed. And my light B, the most I've got it up to is about 43 for torque. Uh, the Ultra B, the, both electric bikes uh, win easily. The Ultra B is 325 foot-pounds. The DRZ is uh, only 18. And the Light B comes in at 184. Uh, range. So, obviously, on the, on the DRZ, uh, I get about 50 miles a gallon on a 2.6 gallon tank. So, I can go about 100. 130 miles on one tank. And then of course I can just fill up whenever I want. 
on the Ultra B and the Light B, I get about 30 on each of those, about 30 miles. I do have an extra battery on the Ultra B, so I can switch out and get 60 miles on the Ultra B. Also, the Ultra B has a place to store the charger underneath the seat, so I could uh, take the charger with me and charge it, but it takes a while to charge. It takes uh, four hours to completely charge it, but I could charge it enough to get myself home though. Uh, comfort, I'm gonna go with the DRZ. Uh, if I rate it on a scale of one to 10, I would say the DRZ is close to a 10. The Ultra B, I'm gonna put it at about a seven. And the Light B, I'm gonna say a five. Now, I do have the stock seat on all three, so, um, but I added a pad to the DRZ, which moves it from an eight to a 10, basically. Uh, maintenance, the electric bikes are very low maintenance. Basically, there's hardly anything you need to do is, um, you know, charge it and ride it. Uh, lube the chain every now and then. That It's very minimal what you have to do. Maintenance on the DRZ, it's a, a people describe it as a tank. So it's not like you gotta spend tons of money and time uh, keeping it going, but still it's a gas bike. It has to have oil changes and filter changes and you know, there's there's a lot to, it's a very complex machine. And so it, it uh, has to have things periodically uh, fixed and replaced and so forth. Um, cost. So uh, just if you went to, to a U.S. dealership and bought one of these, uh, the, the DRZ is 8000 the Ultra B is 6500 and the Light B is uh, 4500 But, you know, I've upgraded all of these, so that doesn't really represent the... You know, the upgraded cost is gonna be different. I actually put the most upgrades um, in terms of number of upgrades into the Light B. It just required more. I probably spent more money on Ultra B upgrades because I got uh, an extra battery for it, which alone was $1,500. And then I did kind of minimal upgrades on the DRZ. Okay, so based on the things I just told you, uh, it still doesn't get to the heart of which one, if I had to pick only one that I would keep, and it doesn't get to the heart of which one of these bikes, you know, is my favorite bike that I love to ride the most. Okay, so we're gonna cover that, and we need a different set of criteria for this. And basically the criteria for this is, um, where can I ride these bikes? And, uh, and how important are those places that I can ride to me. And so I come up with a metric to, to grade these bikes. And uh, that's what I'm gonna do now. So um, I cover all the different places that I like to ride. And one place that I've never rode, ridden, which is a uh, motocross, but I got it on here anyway, just to make the list more complete. And what I've done is I got a, a, a waiting, uh, rating category, sorry, uh, one to three, one is fair, two is good, three is best, and you get a zero, a big fat zero, if there's uh, no performance for that particular uh, riding venue. So with that, let's start off with bicycle trails. So with bicycle trails, the um, Light B wins. So I give it a three, I give the Ultra B a one, and the DRZ is zero. You can't ride bicycle trails on the DRZ. Now, I'm, I'm not talking about legal, uh, legality, whether it's legal or not, because none of these are legal to ride on a bike trail, but I'm just talking about how does it perform on a bicycle trail, okay? Uh, dirt bike trails, like for motorcycles. I'm gonna give the Ultra B a three, the best here. Then I'm gonna come in with a one, which is a fair for the light B and a zero again on the DRZ. For sidewalks, obviously DRZ is a zero, no performance. For the light B, I'm gonna say two for sidewalks. Again, I'm ignoring legality. And for the ultra B, I have had to limp along on the sidewalk to get home before, 
So I give the Ultra B a one. You can do it. I just feel very uncomfortable riding the Ultra B. It's a big bike to have it on the sidewalk. Fortunately, where I live, very few people actually walk on the sidewalks. So it's not, it's never been a problem, but I don't do it often. I would say neighborhood riding, you know, where you throw your flip flops on and then you go for a quick ride. Uh, so for that, I'm gonna give the Ultra B a three, the best. I'm gonna give, I'm sorry, the Light B a three. I'm gonna give the Ultra B a two and the DRZ a one. You can do it, but you know, it's a little much to go for a quick ride in, around the neighborhood on the DRZ. I, I still feel like I need to throw my helmet on. And, but with the Ultra B and the Light B, I can put my bicycle helmet on and flip flops and I just cruise around the neighborhood a little bit. I would say side roads is next. For side roads, I'm gonna give the Ultra B a three, the Light B a two, and the DRZ also a two. That's for like, you know, roads, little side roads with not too much traffic, you know, residential areas where the speed limit is like 30 miles an hour, that kind of thing. Highway, for the highway, I'm giving the, um, I'm given the DRZ, now the DRZ starts to show itself. Uh, it gets a three. So this is like, you know, 50 miles an hour and up roads, four lane roads or two lane roads. And uh, so I'm giving the DRZ the highest rating on this one. It gets a three, the light, the Ultra B gets a two. And I'm gonna say zero on the light B. I, I've gotten on the highway with the light B before. It feels unsafe, let me tell you and I do not recommend it. Uh, the only reason that I would do it today is to get myself to a bi bicycle trail and that's it. Very carefully with, uh, yeah, very carefully. Interstate, zero on the light B. Are you kidding? No way am I getting the light B or the ultra B, zero again on the interstate. Um, DRZ. You can ride on the interstate with the DRZ. It's, it's plenty fast enough, but it's not really built for it. It needs an extra gear and uh, it needs more weight. And not, you also need some wind protection, excuse me, <coughs> wind protection. Now I could add that, but I don't want to. And generally I just don't want to ride the Ultra B on the interstate except for short spurts to get places faster. Motocross. Zero on the DRZ SM, of course. On the Ultra B, I'm gonna give it a two. I've never tried this before. On the Light B, I'm gonna say a one. I'm just guessing based on a bunch of videos I've seen. So um, how does that tally up? Well, the, the tally, so this is the raw numbers, right? The tally uh, has the Ultra B coming in, number one at 14 points. The um, Light B is second with 12 points and the DRZ is third with eight. And I was saw this and I was kind of surprised myself because I'm gonna tell you, if I had to pick which two bikes I wanted, it would be the Ultra B and the, the DRZ, okay? It, the Light B would, out, would be out of the picture. I put it out of the picture just <laughs> to show you. So I was surprised that we came back with this rating and it made me think, you know, I need to adjust this. I need to weight these categories and what are my preferences. So I added a weight to each cat category uh, based, and the weights were uh, 0.5 times the rating for less important, one for important, moderately important, and two for very important. Once I applied these weights to each of the categories, of course, the ratings change. When I, re, when I do it again that way, I get um, 20.5 for the Ultra B. So it does the things that I like to do the most, right? Uh, the things I like to do the most are side roads, highways, and uh, motorcycle trails. Those are the things I enjoy the most. And so with that, the rating goes up to 20.5. For the um, D DRZ, it went up to 12, but the Light B, it's still ahead at 13.5. So even, even with this adjustment, 
it's got me preferring, my rating system has me preferring these two bikes. Well, what gives? Well, I'll tell you what gives. Legality. The Light B, I've, I've thought about selling it because basically there's no place that it's legal. Okay, it's not legal on sidewalks. It's not legal on bicycle trails. It's not even legal on motorcycle trails where I live without a tag. Now I could get it tagged for that. I just don't want to. I could get it, okay, I could get it tagged for that. Um, but I've got the Ultra B for that. So, you know, so <clears throat> why am I keeping the Light B? I've asked myself that and I've thought about selling it. But I go camping, there's my camper, and I take the Light B with me and it's really nice to trek around the campsite with the Light B. And also I do take it on bicycle trails occasionally. Um, so that's the reason I'm keeping it. It's good for what it is, you know? So I, I decided to, uh, to make my ratings come out the way I want. I applied another category, uh, legality. So if one, if the, uh, bike isn't legal in one of these categories, it just gets a zero. Okay. So once I do that, the, um, LBX gets zeros in sidewalks, it gets zeros in side roads and other categories, but it already had zeros in some of the other categories. Uh, I do the same thing for the other two. And once I do that, now we see in a clear picture of how I really think. The Ultra B is the clear winner with 19 points. 19 points. It is, uh, I've got two wheel sets for this. I have a street wheel set and a dirt wheel set. Uh, 1821 uh, dirt wheel set and I can ride it most of the places I want to ride and it's loads of fun it gets the most attention people are always when I ride to a restaurant in it they're always uh, walking over and staring at it wondering what this thing is and uh, yeah it gets the most attention it's got reverse come on I mean this thing is uh it's an awesome little bike. It's an awesome little bike, okay? 19 points. The DRZ, I love this bike. I've always wanted a street bike. I just hate street bikes. Well, this is a dirt bike with street wheels and tires and rotors on it. And uh, it comes in at 12 points. The light B, after I penalize it for legalities, then it drops to 5.5. And that really represents how I feel about the bikes. Um, if I had to sell, if I had to sell one, I would definitely sell the Light B. Uh, it's still not out of the question, but I have a teenager now and I have two younger sons that are coming up and they have dreams of riding that bike one day. So when they get tall enough, then, you know, so I'm gonna, and I use it for camping and bike trails occasionally, although I feel uncomfortable uh, doing that. I'm afraid somebody's gonna get angry with me. It hadn't happened yet. But anyway, so there it is, guys. My ratings, Ultra B, 19 points. DRZ, 12 points. Light B, 5.5 points. And that's the way I see it. The Ultra B is the Ultra in this case, the DRZ second and the light is left back, left behind. Uh, anyway, they're all great bikes, different purposes. It really depends on what your, you know, favorite things to do are will determine which would be your favorite bike. All right, guys, thanks for tuning in. I hope this was helpful to some people that were struggling to decide what they want, uh, just I can just tell you from my own experience, uh, the Ultra B is just an awesome bike if you like a variety of different riding, if you like an attention getter. If you just want to ride on the street, you can't really beat the DRZ. It's, it's just an awesome machine. And if you, uh, you know, if you're into like, you don't really want to ride a motorcycle, you just want to ride a bicycle in motor, uh, you know, 
mountain bike style with an engine on it, bike trails, and go for the Life B. It's a great bike. It's the one I've had the longest, and uh, I don't plan on getting rid of it. All right, guys, have a great one. Bye.